channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm Lana Rapath. Nice to meet you. Meet you? Why was I gonna say meet you? Words, Lana, no. No. Definitely nice to meet you. Welcome. Um, yeah, if you're new here, make sure and go hit that subscribe button, even though you probably don't want to after I just said meet you. Yeah, that was yeah. Mm. 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 <laughs> Lana, no. <laughs> but yeah. So if you do like me, make sure and subscribe. Also hit that bell next to it so you're notified every time I upload, but probably you don't want to now that I've embarrassed myself completely. <laughs> but yeah, today we have favourites. I can't remember if I mentioned some of these before, so if I have, just sound off in the comments below. This lighting is killing me today. Oh, also look at my eyes. <gasps> I freaking love it. I got really excited today with glitter and just went ham. So yeah. Um, excuse the lighting, I thought I'd make it more rustic by just having my little lamp on there. So I just have that little light on and then my little heart, which you saw in my original videos. If you're an OG, God knows if you're. I, I couldn't be bothered to stick around me for like three years. But yeah, I'm here. We're going to do favourites. We better get on with it because I have a shitload to show you. So let's just get on with this. Is it November? November. September? What is it? What's the date? Let's go check on my iPad. Give me two minutes. I've, I've forgotten the dates. I think it's November. Is it November, guys? One second. Yes, it's November. <laughs> I'm right. Yes. So this is my November favourites. Now that we've established it's November and not September because I get confused all the time because I'm a scattered brain. Moral of the story. Right, so moving on, let's just get into these yeah, favorites. So the first favorite, I think I'm gonna start with clothing. So, teddy bear jacket. I will link, or will I insert a picture of me? I'll insert like a video of me wearing this. It's just a big teddy bear oversized jacket I got from the Bargain Boutique for £35. It is the coziest, warmest coat ever. Pfft. Thank you, hair. I love it. It's so, so nice. It's one of my favourites and I can't stop wearing it because it's just like a teddy bear and I love it and hence the name teddy bear. So that's my first favourite. <laughs> my second favourite are, I literally have had these for three days and I've had the whole packet. It's really, really disgusting actually. But I love these. Mr. Kempling has come out with gingerbread swirls. Firstly, custard creams are my favourite biscuit if anyone ever buys me a biscuit. But gingerbread on top of it. Oh my god, life. It's just freaking gingerbread. Everything is life. Like everyone's like, oh I love pumpkin spice latte. And I'm like, no, it's got cinnamon. What is wrong with you? Have gingerbread. Gingerbread is so much better. I'm telling you. Gingerbread so 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 much better especially if you don't like cinnamon like me gingerbread is the way to go but these are yummy i think they're only a pound in tesco at the minute so nip down to tesco and buy yourself a couple packs munch through them you'll enjoy them trust me that's my second oh my third favorite <laughs> keeping on the gingerbread theme i got it's just it makes me want to binge eat gingerbread. This is a gingerbread um, reed diffuser. I think I got it from Tesco as well actually. It just smells exactly like gingerbread and it just makes my whole life complete because it's winter and you're enough. Let's just deal with it. It's winter. It's not autumn anymore. It's winter. Just deal with it. I know it's sad. We're gonna get snow blizzards coming seemingly. I mean, it's Monday today when I'm filming this and they said it was going to happen, but I don't see any little bit of snow out there. <laughs> but seemingly we are. So to get in the warm, cosy mood, I have got a gingerbread reed diffuser, which smells perfect. So nip down to Tesco if you love gingerbread and get one of these. Um, the whatever third thing, let's move to hair. So 
as I said, I've dyed my hair. I don't know if I said that in this video or the last video. I've dyed my hair so it's darker on the top and then it's like icy blonde on the bottom. So to try keep this icy blonde, I have the John Frieda London Paris and New York um, Sheer Blonde Color Renew Correcting Tone Conditioner and Shampoo. They are amazing. I think I got them for about, I think it was eight pounds these were for just the pair, I think. Have a wee look. They were on offer, so I think it was roughly about eight pounds, nine a push. So it's really good. I actually used to be a diehard for Matrix, but I'm actually really, really preferring these, and they're a lot cheaper than Matrix. For Matrix, I would have been like eighteen pounds, so I'm saving at least ten pounds with these. And you can pick them up in Superdrug Boots, like any supermarket. But yeah. Sorry if you're hearing my dog, the dog, not my dog, <laughs> next door neighbor's dog. <sighs> they let him out all the time and he barks and he's a really sweet dog, but he barks a lot. So, <laughs> sorry if you're hearing him. Yeah, I'm just gonna let Benji do his thing and bark. So, if you hear him, please excuse him. He's just outside having fun. It doesn't mean to ruin my video, I know that, so it's fine. <laughs> just a disclaimer. Right, moving on to, oh no, I've got one more hair product. This, I can't remember if I put it in my other favourites, but I just love it so much I'm putting it in again. This is the GHD Heat Protecting Spray with UV Protection. I love GHD, love their products. I think GHD is amazing. This is amazing. Just makes your hair more silky for some reason. And it smells bomb. It smells really florally, but not like a fake floral. Really nice floral. Definitely worth the money. On to skincare. So, skincare favourites, I've switched my cleanser again because it was breaking out again and I had a wee tester of this before I actually bought it and it cleared up my acne in a week, which was really weird. So like the one I had before, I think I was on the original skin cleanser, but it was too like oily for my skin. So like I loved it at the start and I'm pretty sure I put it in a favourites. And then like after I put it in the favourites, my skin started breaking out horrendously and I was just like, oh, this is so good jam typical. I've just told people I like it and like I don't. So this cleared up my sk uh, skin and I've not been on here for a while. So I know this does clear up my skin. And um, this is the Mega Bright by Origins. And um, this is a wee bit more pricey. This comes in at about £36, like a pop. But you do get 150 milliliters and five fluid ounces in there. And it is lovely. It's very illuminating. I don't know if you can see it, but I don't know if you can see that. It's got like a sheen to it. It's really pretty. Like it's just got a really nice glowy sheen. And I swear that's why my skin's glowing so much better than it used to. I don't know if you can see it. It's just so pretty. But yeah, and it smells nice. Doesn't have too horrible of a scent it's just like a creamy scent it's kind of like a no scent thing but yeah really highly recommend that cleanser for people that have acne or just want a brighter complexion um but yeah i use it morning and night and love it to death the next two skincare products I have, I used this last time, so I think I have put this in a favourites. So I switched from the Zedo Oil to the United States. I am loving this with this cleanser now. I use this every night. This is like my third or second purchase of this. I love it so much. It's not too, um, it's not as deep and drying as the zero oil but it's not as calm as the original skin one it's like that in between for people that have acne that's just like comes out of nowhere and um, it controls it but it doesn't like tear your skin apart with freaking dry patches at the same time it's very nice very calming it smells really nice and um, but yeah all origins products do i think this is 1750 i'll link it below really good for like combination skin like mine and um, the other thing is I've used so much I can actually show you how much I love this because look this is a big big pot I'm down to about there <laughs> so this is the ginseng gel moisturizer I love this this one is 30 pounds because it's the bigger one and you get 75 mil which is 2.5 ounces 
and it's just really good. You only need like a tiny little dot and it's brilliant and it's amazing. Highly recommend. Origin Skincare is pricey but it is really good for your skin and it's all natural. Um, makeup. Moving on to makeup. <laughs> um, right, so I'm going to stick with Origin. So my eyes were really annoying me. They still do a little bit with this but it's not as bad as it was. Um, they just annoy me because every mascara seems to like flake, doesn't give me enough volume. This one is actually giving me enough volume. So this is the Origins Ginseng Mascara. So it's the same like range as my moisturiser. Um, I can't even remember. I think it might be 1650 or something. It's really cheap but it's really nice. If you actually look at my lashes, like it separates them really nicely. My lashes are just done that way so just but like it's really nice and lengthening but yeah my lashes are duds they like go straight anyway with like nothing also yeah I'm just addressing this this is bad just ignore this <laughs> I've tried to cover it it's just not covering um but this is I highly recommend you can actually use this because it's natural if you're having like radio or chemo you're allowed to use this mascara which is really good I didn't know that until I got told by the girls at Origins but you can use this while going through chemo oh, chemo or radiotherapy or if you have any sort of cancer and having treatment you can use this because it's completely natural so it is a good one to actually purchase and I do love it loads um, next thing I actually got in Glossy Box, this is the Huda Beauty um, Liquid Matte in shade Girlfriend. I love this. I'm actually wearing it today with the Becca Champagne Pop over it. My lips are a bit like cracky-backy, but can you see that Champagne Pop on top of it? But it's so, so cute. Love, love, love. Love it so much. Um, I can't remember what it retails for. I'll link it below though. Um, but it is really nice. Love the shade. It's my perfect nude because it's not like too nude to the point that you look like you have nothing on and you look like you've put foundation all over your lips, which isn't cute. But it's like deep enough too for me because I quite like a like a brownie, warm toned nude, which is this. So thank you, Huda Beauty. Love it loads. We'll continue to use this and we'll probably repurchase. And we purchase more because let's be honest I love makeup and I have a problem <laughs> moving on so I actually bought I think I've spoken about my other revolution palettes the reloaded ones I have this one is actually a new one it's called iconic division and I love 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 this and it's only $4.99 so if you're looking for a good start off palette, these are amazing. Just ignore my black. It's a bit of a done. But it's got mustard, which is the colour of my nail too, and matching for my palette. You get orange, greens, like, oh, this colour. Oh, I just have to swatch this colour for you. Wait till you freaking... Oh, oh, this colour every freaking time gets me. And then the green as well, green shimmer. Oh, yes. See, they're so pigmented. And then I'll show you a matte, just out of interest. So I'll show you, like, the bony sort of colour. Even, like, your transition colour is really pigmented. Like, they're very pigmented. And they're, like, this palette is only 4 99 That's your mustard colour. Like, they're just stunning. Like, that's stunning shapes. Like, so I've swatched two mattes and two shimmers for you so you can see they are very pigmented and it's only $4.99. Makeup Revolution you can't really go wrong with palette wise. They are amazing eyeshadow palettes. I love them to death. I have many. I will continue to buy. They're amazing. They don't seem to hurt my eyes which is a freaking miracle because my eyes are hypersensitive. That's why I need to use this mascara also. They're just very hypersensitive. So these are amazing for anyone starting out or if you just love makeup in general. These are bomb. You need them in your life. Right, moving on. <laughs> I need to kind of remove this now. <laughs> What's going on, Lana? Right, I'll try to wipe it a wee bit before we move on. Right, there we go. Right, moving on. I don't know if I've showed you this, but just disclaimer, 
every Anastasia Beverly Hills palette gets like this. It's just, it's not always me. I know it looks manky, but just excuse it. I do love this Norvina palette. I have got eyeshadow all over it in mucky bits. It's because it's velvet, so it gets mucky no matter what. I do love this. This is cruelty free. Oh, I also forgot to say, this is cruelty free as well, by the way. This is cruelty free and vegan, all that. Forgot to say this. This one is a wee bit more expensive than Norvina palette. I think it's about 43, so it is very high end. I do love it and I do use it every day though. As you can see, it's very well loved. I love it so much. Um, you have shades like Electric, Passion. I've got Electric on my crease. I've got Passion in there today. And then I've got the shade Summer on my cut crease. And then I've got something I'll talk about with you in a minute um but this palette is stunning i'll swatch some of the colors for you so soul is harder to work with but i'll swatch it for you just so you can see the colors so that's soul there they are very pigmented some of them is a wee bit more kickbacky i'll do all the really nice bright mattes there's love um i'll show you the one that's on my eye just now electric some of the glitters i'll show you drama so drama's the dark glitter, then let's go into the purple. You've got that. Like, they're just so pretty. Like, so that gives you a brief idea of what the palette's like. It's really good, really pigmented, but for the price you'd want it to be this pigmented. Um, but I can highly recommend this if you are a made makeup addict like me. It has so many different colours that you're not going to get in any other palettes. I love it to death. Got a really good mirror. But yeah, just one of my faves. I keep reaching for it every day. <laughs> right, let's try to get this off too because I'm not doing the rest of the video like this. Right, so my next thing, keeping on eyes before we move on. That little bit I have in my cut crease, the little line, is the NYX Glitter. So this is the Glitter brilliance and this is in shade 05 and I just love 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 this it's so good I can't even remember how much they are I'll have to find them online and link them below but they're not like expensive at all I think maybe three or four pounds at max for NYX um the only thing I don't like about it is it's so freaking hard to get the glitter out like can NYX make it a lot easier to get the glitter out because it really annoys me I had to go over this about five times just to get somewhere with it but it is really cute I love my eye look today but and I love this glitter because it's just the perfect like glitter it's not too like chunky but it's not too like smooth it's like that perfect in between and um, so yeah I highly recommend these little glitter pods just you are gonna have to like really shove it <laughs> to get some glitter out that's the only disclaimer right moving on I'm going to go high end again and then all that's left is drugstore so my high end I don't know if I mentioned this but Becca opened in John Lewis thank you Becca um literally love Becca I am wearing Champagne Pop today. I love Champagne Pop. It is one of my favourite highlighters. I reach for it every single day. Um, I just love it. It's so pretty. It's like the perfect, most champagne y colour. I'm sure you guys have seen it a million times, but I'll swatch it on my hand for you. Can you guys see that? I don't know. But you'll probably see it on my skin better. One sec. Yeah, you see that? So pretty so reflective it just looks like glass so so nice i love it they do come in at a whopping 30 pounds but they do last if you look after them obviously i wouldn't advise traveling with these i did for a start and i had to get a new one because mine smashed completely but i didn't even do anything thank god i got a brand new free one because what had happened i literally opened it up at my boyfriend's dipped my brush into it and it went everywhere um and just smashed into a million pieces so there must have been like a really bad like just like just a bad formula at one point um where they accidentally released like ones that were a wee bit like dodgy but ever since mine's been fine and they were so nice about it and just gave me a brand new one because they knew that there was ones in their shop even like going like that they were like oh no it's just like a malfunction stuff like that 
so yeah moving on love this i would highly recommend if you do love highlighter it is expensive but it's so so worth it like honestly i do not regret spending the money on this because it's 100 percent worth it and i reach for it every day moving on i needed a new bronzer and i was actually only going online what was i going online for oh my my serum that I always have, my The Ordinary Nicodinium and Sink Serum because I use that all the, all the time. So I was going on that and obviously on Beauty Bay you have to make up delivery. So I actually popped this bronzer that I think was about £4 into my basket because I needed a new one. This is actually the perfect shade for me. I'm such a fair ass bitch. Like I'm not going to even joke about it but I'm so fair. Like as you can see this is white and this is how fair I am. Like I'm really pale. So I needed a lighter one. This is actually the Wet n Wild Colour Con Bronzer. So yeah, I love this. Highly recommend for anyone with pale skin. Really, really good. Can't remember what shade it was though, but it tells you on the website what shade it is. I think Wet n Wild are cruelty free as well. Yes, they are. So if you're a cruelty free girl, this is all up your street. But yeah, great, amazing. The other thing, all these things are actually from Wet n Wild that are left. <laughs> Wet n Wild have come into Aberdeen's um, boots. So I went a bit ham. But, you know, as you do when you see a makeup brand that you really want to try that's cruelty free. Do you get me? So, what I got was the Photo Focus Pressed Powder. This is really good with the foundation, which I am going to talk about too. Um, so, not much you can say about a powder, but it's really nice, does its job sort of thing wasn't really expensive i'll link it all below because i can't remember all the prices and um, the wet and wild photo focus foundation i picked up straight away all the wet and wild range is cruelty free as i said um i've got it in shade soft ivory and that is your more like neutral tone this doesn't give you any um flashback whatsoever it is it's tested under seven light conditions it has the top smartphone models and it is it's like flash and all that resistant as well so I love 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 this foundation it's so good and I can't even remember I think it's like five pounds something so good for the price also it has this thing I really like a lot of people don't like it because it's sang like sanitary reasons but if you're using it for yourself even like this you can put onto like a palette as a makeup artist and use the brush like off the palette and um, but yeah I love it because that means you can dot it around like the Clinique Beyond Perfecting and um, but yeah this dries down completely matte so I don't actually set on my face I just set my t-zone when I'm wearing this I actually have it on today it's lovely apart from like obviously this bit like it wouldn't be covered even with the Dior foundation so don't blame my little mishap but apart from that my skin looks just like a Dior foundation really and it's so lovely and it's only five pounds like it is lovely I love how skin like it is and how it just dries down and it feels like nothing on your skin and it is amazing highly recommend this my last thing in my favorites is my wet and wild focal <laughs> photo focus matte primer I just put this in the t-zone as well just to prevent the oils and everything before putting on my foundation I really really love this and it just does control the oils it does everything it says it does also I forgot to actually say this is my last thing I went to the new place like I don't know if you can see these I have it on Instagram so I'll link my Instagram below so you guys can go head over there I got mustard nails done they are so amazing with the gold like specs and I love it this one came off so I'm a way to get it back to this um soon um I think it's like in two days but yeah I love them the lengths perfect everything I went to Nail CO in Aberdeen I cannot recommend them more oh my god so I think the girl I got was Tina I think Tina Tina I think oh she was so sweet she was like they were all so sweet there um like to get your nails actually filled in you're about 35 and then to get a whole new set on I think I was 45 something about that which is normal like I'm totally fine with that and like 
it's so worth it because you go in there they get your coat they ask if you want coffee like they're just so friendly and nice also when you're done they take an instagram picture for you so you don't have to do the hard work at home like i freaking love that when somebody wants to take an instagram picture for you you're just like thank you i don't have to do it i just i love it when somebody asks me that i'm just like yes please like yes I want to promote you. <laughs> like, yes. But yeah, this isn't a promotion. I'm not paid by them, by the way. I wish, but I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, they're so amazing, so great. Like, honestly, they were just so nice. She was so sweet. And I even have like a messed up nail from when I was little that's very sensitive and I had an operation on it and they were fab with that. Um, but yeah, highly recommend Nail Steel. Great place. You need to go if you're in the Aberdeen area. Definitely go there to get your nails done. I get acrylic gels. I love them to death. But yes, that's all my favourites today. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you guys later. There we go, okay. I know the lighting's not the best. I had to put on my light just to try to show you. The lighting is so bad at Scotland. I'm so sorry. But this is the teddy bear jacket. If you want to see it properly, I will maybe try post an Instagram with it on. Um, or like a picture or something and insert it. But yes, this is the teddy bear jacket. This is what it looks like. Gorgeous. That is what it looks like. It's too cold. my face.